Welcome back to The Ed Show. Rick Perry's self-destruction continues. It all started during last week's Republican debate when he gave answers like this one. Is it the Mitt Romney that was on the side of against the Second Amendment before he was for the Second Amendment? Was it was before he was before the social programs um, from the standpoint of he was for uh, standing up for Roe versus Wade before he was against verse, uh, Roe versus Wade? Uh, he, he was uh, for race to the top. Uh, he's for Obamacare, and now he's against it. All right, not so hot. Perry followed up on his disastrous debate performance with a big loss in the Florida straw poll. He spent more time and money in Florida than his competitors, but still only got 15% of the vote. Former Godfather CEO pizza man Herman Cain won the straw poll. I was surprised at this with 37%. The folks on Fox, well, they're already writing Perry's political obituary. Perry really did throw up all over himself in the debate <laughs> at a time when he needed to raise his game. Perry is about, you know, one half a step away from t almost total collapse as a candidate. Really? You think so, Mr. Hume? But it's not all bad, all bad news for Rick Perry. He's still leading the Republican field in a new nationwide poll coming in at 28 percent, seven points ahead of Mitt Romney at 21 percent. And that takes under consideration the event that took place the other night. Joining me now is Jim Moore. He is a Huffington Post contributor and author of the forthcoming book, Adios Mofo, Why Rick Perry Will Make America Miss George W. Bush. Also with me tonight is Steve Kornacki, political columnist for Salon.com. Steve, let me ask you, is, uh, is it history? For Rick Perry, is it over for him? I, I mean, I wouldn't go that far just because of the poll you just showed there. You know, he's still up. I, I would say, though, I, I'm really curious to see another poll when it takes into account sort of not just the debate itself, but the week or so that's that's followed it, because it's been a very rough four days for him so far. And you look at that that clip you showed in the debate, and you look at the result from Florida, and I think both of those are very strong signs that, at the very least, we could say this guy is totally failing to live up to his potential because the promise of the Rick Perry candidacy to Republicans Republicans was he could pull off that line. He could confront Mitt Romney on all these crimes against conservatism, and he could speak for the base. Instead, he flubbed it. The promise of Rick Perry was all these sort of second-tier conservative true believers, the Michelle Bachmans, the Herman Cains, the Rick Santorums, they go away because yeah. now the base has somebody. And Herman Cain wins a straw poll like that. They're not going away yet. Jim Moore, uh, okay, so he stumbled in a debate. The fact is he's got a southern strategy, which would be much stronger than Mitt Romney. Where are we right now with the Perry camp? It turns out that straw polls that are nothing more than silly entertainment. I don't know of any straw poll that's ever been very accurate in terms of predicting a president. Those several hundred people who gave that victory to Herman Cain heard a very great speech from him at that convention. But then in the wake of Perry's poor performance, and then they melted away into a population of Florida, which gives a large lead right now to Rick Perry. I think the important question to ask is where would these disaffected Perry voters go? We know they aren't going to Romney. They've already left Michelle Bachman. Herman Cain will get some of them. Are they going to Rick Santorum? Not likely. So they might be disaffected temporarily, I think, but eventually yeah. they end up coming back to Rick Perry because he has their basic hard right conservative values. Steve, is this now the opening for Chris Christie of New Jersey? Well, it's interesting. I still don't think Chris Christie will run at the end of the day, but I'm talking about all of these symptoms of why it's failing for Rick Perry. Here's another one. The promise of the Rick Perry candidacy was we were going to stop hearing about Chris Christie. We were going to stop hearing about how there was room for a savior for well, a white Well, he can't control candidate. if conservatives are meeting with him. Right, but they wouldn't be meeting I mean, with him. I mean, you got, they you got be... Bill Crystal over there throwing his name out. I mean, the network is now pushing for, for Chris Christie to jump into this thing because they're not happy right. with Rick Perry. Because if Rick Perry was getting it done as a candidate the way he was supposed to be, Bill Crystal wouldn't be saying, I want, you know, Chris Christie in this race. Roger Ailes wouldn't be saying, I want Chris well, Christie. Well, don't you in think some race. of that is that they can't control this guy? I mean, this guy is a true radical Tea Partier. Well, he is, but it's also, it also shows, I think, that the deficiencies with Rick Perry and the Republican base that have come to light. And I think chiefly immigration is one of the issues here. What about that, Jim? Well, immigration is a problem for him, but. Again, go back to the base, and they're going to look around, and they're going to see where Romney is. They're going to see where Kane is, and they're eventually going to have to decide. 
who do we turn to? Do we turn to somebody that we like on the broadest number of issues, or do we toss him out just because of this question of immigration? Yeah. And he fumbled that. He should, have, he should have explained his position much more clearly because it hurt him. But I don't think that's, they're going to toss the baby out with the bathwater uh, in I, terms can I just, of the yeah. I, I think there's one other thing to consider here, and I know it's a little early on this, but we've now seen six or seven polls in key 2012 battleground states and national polls that have shown Rick Perry significantly underperforming against Barack Obama compared to Mitt Romney. Polls that show Romney basically even with Obama and Perry running seven, eight, nine points behind. I think that's a serious consideration. You think the Republicans will match that up and, and make that determination? When, when you look at the mood of the Republican base, I know they're very conservative, but they are furiously anti-Obama, as you've seen. Yeah. And if it comes down to, hey, we're going to let this guy give a free pass right. to a second term, I don't know if they do that. Jim Morris. Romney can't, win. Romney can't win the nomination. That's the problem. Romney cannot win in the South because of his religion and because of the way he has waffled on a number of major significant Said issues. Said that John McCain debates. four years ago. But, but actually, Rick Perry, I thought, did a good job of stumbling because that's exactly what Mitt Romney's been doing for five years, stumbling all over all kinds of issues, falling all over the place. Jim Moore, Steve Kornacki, thanks. Great to have you with us tonight.